Hey everybody, just uh, going live here on the go today. I uh, wanna ask as you come on, as those come on, just let me know you're here by um, giving a uh, a shout out or some kind of a um, acknowledgement. Let me know you're here. Glad to see everybody today who wants to come in. Like I said, we're on the road. Uh, hey, Brother Mitchell. Hey, Sister Swint, good to see you. Uh, if I look crazy today, please forgive me. <laughs> we had to do a little road trip. So I had to do this from the road today. Uh, we're gonna start in just a minute. Wanna give everybody a chance to get on. But I wanna thank y'all for coming and being a part of this today. Uh, hope everybody can hear me okay. It's a different surroundings. You see stuff around me. I'm in the car, but I'm not driving. Don't worry, <laughs> it's all good. Um, but just wanna thank you all as always for being a part of this today. I'm gonna move around just a little bit. Y'all just work with me for a second here. Um, we're gonna start in just a moment, everybody. Uh, gonna give everybody just a minute to get on uh, today also as we start uh, I want to let everybody know I thank you for all of your suggestions about the name that we're using and the name that we decided to use today um, is going to be uh, forward focus so from now on we started out at six minutes of success now we're gonna move to forward focused uh, as we're talking about moving forward and moving on and being the best that we can be so we're gonna start in about just another 30 seconds or so Please uh, be on the lookout, everyone, also for the next installment of Purple Table Talk. Hey, Brother Lavender, of our Purple Table Talk. That's going to be happening on Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, July 21st at um, 6 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be having the candid conversation with uh, my father, Bishop Philip Robert Cousin Sr., and my brothers and my nephew. Uh, it's basically cousin family conversations around uh, my father's table just talking about issues that affect us as a church and as a people. Hey, Brother Peyton, Sister Pye, how y'all doing? Uh, Brother Peyton had to change his name. He's no longer Big Skins fan. He went back to James Peyton since the Skins are changing their name. Good to see you today, my friend. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this, our first Forward Focused Thursday. I'm not going to be long today uh, because I uh, probably have to get moving again soon, but I do want to share this with you. I'm really excited. So let's just bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity again to come before you. And we ask, Lord, that the words of our mouths and meditations of our hearts are acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we start with today's first Forward Focus Thursday. Um, we wanted to talk about, my sisters and brothers, about the importance of moving forward. In this season, uh, especially in this coronavirus pandemic type season, we really need to understand the importance of moving forward and not being stuck where we are. So with that in mind, the first scripture I want us to look at today is found in Exodus, the 14th chapter and the 15th verse. Exodus 14, 15, it's real easy for us to, um, real easy for us to uh, find. It's real simple. Just remember 14, 15, and it states this. The Lord says to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. Why are you crying out to me? Get moving. And today, my sisters and brothers, I want us to talk for a few minutes about the importance of getting moving. Let, let's get moving. You know, driving, like I said, we did a little uh, family road trip today and we're heading on back in now. But as I was driving, I was blessed to be able to listen to uh, radio stations. And one of the stations I listened to is the 80s on 8. I'm an 80s child. I was born in the 70s, but raised in the 80s. And a lot of that 80s music was music that really uh, speaks to me because I remember it as a child. Well, as I was listening to the music, I started thinking about being a child and going back to childhood. And my dad uh, and mom and good times came to my mind. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you know, it's good to think about going back, but you know you physically cannot go back. You have to always move forward. And the Lord reminded me as great as it is to talk about going back and to think about going back, really going back is not an option. We have to move forward. So we look at Moses here with the children of Israel uh, escaping um, Egyptian exile, escaping um, Egyptian rule. And as God is moving them forward, the people begin to complain to Moses about the whole process and the whole trip. And then they start complaining to God. And God says, Moses, tell these people, don't complain to me anymore. Instead, what you need to do is tell them to get moving. 
The time for your complaining and fussing is done. And the Lord says, get moving. And my sisters and brothers, it's our time now with this first Forward Focus Thursday, uh, wherever we are, to get moving. The children of Israel were upset because they wanted to go back in a place that was more comfortable, that was really slavery for them, even then move forward into the unknown. And my sisters and brothers, this is what I want us all to understand. It may be uncomfortable in this coronavirus pandemic, and we may want to go back to what used to be. But God says now is not the time for moving backwards. Now is the time for moving forward, to move forward, to embrace new ideas, move forward, to embrace new concepts, move forward, to embrace what God has for you today, right now. And it's our tendency, like the children of Israel, to go backwards because back is what we're used to. Back is where we're comfortable. Back is where we've been. But the Lord says, no, I don't want you to go back. It's time for you to move forward. Um, I know you've heard me say this before, so please forgive me. Driving today, too, I was laughing. My brother Michael, Reverend Dr. Michael Cousin, has a saying that he loves to use. And the saying is simply this. When you're driving a car, never forget there's a reason why your rearview mirror is smaller than your windshield. Your rearview mirror is used for you to glance back from time to time to see where you came from. But if you don't move forward, then you will definitely crash. That's why it's more important to have the large mirror and the large glass in front of you that you can see where you're going and the small glass to see where you've been. My sisters and brothers, spend more time focused on where God is taking you and less time on where you've been. And remember, it's time to move forward. So begin to look at the areas in your life where you can move forward. Allen Temple, we're moving forward as a church. God is blessing us to do a lot of things that everybody may or may not agree with, but guess what? It's all God ordained, it's all God led, and we're moving forward. In your life, you're gonna be called to do some things that God calls you to do that you may not agree with. If it's God ordained and God inspired, move forward. And God told the people of Israel, he told Moses, he said, look, if y'all just move forward, I guarantee you, I will take care of you and clear the path for you to find success. Well, my sisters and brothers, move forward today in God, and I guarantee you every obstacle that was in your way, everything that was in your path, everything that was bothering you, God will move it out of the way that you might find your success. Just keep moving. And he tells the children of Israel, when you start moving forward, don't stop. When you begin to move forward, don't stop. When you're making progress, don't stop. Keep moving forward. My sisters and brothers, today on this first Forward Focused Thursday, let's get moving and don't let anything stop us. I love you all. Praise the Lord for you. Thanks for venturing with me today on this little road trip. Uh, I pray God's blessings upon you all and I pray your strength and your confidence in moving forward in the Lord. That which is behind us is behind. It's now time for us every now and again to glance back and thank God from where he's brought us from. But remember my sisters and brothers, keep on moving forward. In the words of soul to soul, keep on moving, don't stop. Love you all my sisters and brothers. Look forward to seeing you soon. Have a blessed day in the Lord and thanks as always for joining. Please like and share this video. I love you all, God bless.